Hello my dear children how are y'all I hope y'all are safe and healthy at home Welcome to a story session with Shabana ma'am So today I am the storyteller and I am going to tell you a story about love and it is about our mother's love yes our mother's love mother loves us so much our mother love is unconditional and it is also about olympics the story is also about olympics and what is olympics my dear children can you all tell me let me tell you olympics is an international sports festival which is held every 4 years in different different countries and it contributes to world peace and you know my dear children what happens in this sport festival there are different from uh, different countries all over the world the sportsmen come and they participate in the sports competition over here and there are all different types of games played over here like badminton wrestling swimming running weight lifting and from weight lifting dear children you know this year it the olympics is held in tokyo similarly this story what i am going to tell you is also about olympics but it is not about human olympics dear children it is about animal olympics wow isn't it exciting do you all want to listen to the story come let's hear it the jungle olympics there was once a baby koala so soft and so round all who saw her loved her her name was koala lu and her mother loved her the most all her friends loved her and whenever she hugged her mama mama used to say koala lu i do love you and koala lu used to feel so happy she used to feel so so happy and she was loved by all her friends emu loved her kangaroo loved her ostrich loved her kiwi loved her all her friends used to love her so much but her mother loved her the most and as the day used to pass she used to go on a gum tree and she used to sit there and she used to enjoy playing with her friends but as the day passed what happened <gasps> she had so many brothers and sisters and when her brothers and sister came mama got busy in them and she hardly had any time to say koala lu that she loved her so koala lu was very sad she used to go and she used to sit on the tree one night koala lu was sitting and she was thinking how can i tell mama that i love her the most and she also loves me but she never tells me koala lu i do love you and then suddenly she had a splendid idea she said wow i got an idea 
Now, there's Olympics going to come. The Bush Olympics. And I am going to participate in this Bush Olympics. I will participate in the gum tree competition. And I am going to win this. Because I love to climb the trees. And then Mama will tell me that she loves me the most. And then Kuala Lu began her training. She started jogging. She started weightlifting. She started hanging from the branches. Her claws were paining, but still she was doing her practice and she started running very fast. She started doing the push-ups also. Her stomach used to hurt her, but still she did not leave her training. She was climbing the trees as fast as she, she could. Over and over and over again. At last, the day came of Olympics. And all the animals had gathered for Bush Olympics. And everybody was cheering. Everybody was cheering for this Olympics. And you know who had taken part in this bush Olympics. Even Kuala Claus had taken the part in gum, gum tree climbing. And who was the competitor of Kuala Lu? Kuala Claus. And now the time came and the Kuala Claus was the first one to Climb the tree. Everybody started cheering. Yay, Kuala Claus. All the best. And Kuala Claus started her race. And she climbed up so, so, so very fast in record breaking time. <gasps> you know, children, in only 20 two seconds she climbed such a long tree 70 feet tree she climbed in 22 seconds my god can you all imagine how quick she would have been and everybody started cheering yay hip hip hooray koala claus and then the time came for a Kuala Lu. It was her turn. And she was very scared. She said, Oh, I hope my mama is looking at me. And she imagined, she closed her eyes and she imagined that her mama is telling her, Kuala Lu, I do love you. And as she was imagining, the kookaburra shouted, Are you ready? On a mark, get set, go! Kuala Lu leaped on the tree. Up, 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 up. She climbed higher and higher and faster and faster until she climbed on the top of the tree. And yay, everybody started cheering at her. Everybody was clapping hands. And they were cheering, hip hip hooray koala loo. Yay, you're the best. But you know what happened, my dear children? Did koala loo win or koala claws won? Who had won this race? Poor Kuala Lu could not win this race. She came second and Kuala Claus was first. She won the race. So Kuala Lu was very sad. 
she was very very sad she did not know what to do she went and she sat on one of the tree branches and she was sitting and very very sad she was but at last she had to go home and you know my dear children when she went home her mama was waiting for her and as she a uh, mama saw her she flung her arm open and she see how sad kuala lu was sitting and mama hugged her and she said oh kuala lu i do love you and kuala lu was so so happy children see how happy she is kuala lu was very happy looking at her mama and her mama was hugging her so tightly and even kuala lu was hugging her mama very tightly and then she was rest assured that assured that her mama loved her the most whatever it may come how many ever her brothers and sister are there but her mama loves her the most so my dear children did you enjoy this story see how kuala lu's mama loved her the most yes so i hope you all like this story my dear children see you next time bye